Good morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge. I'm Persephone Cortez. And I'm Brock Blancarte. Today is Friday, February 17th. We've got a lot to tell you about this morning, but first today's top story. Dance Marathon raises thousands of dollars each year for kids with life-threatening illnesses. Next week, there will be a special spirit week leading up to their big event next Friday. WSRH News reporter Shayla Stillwagon has more on the story. Hello Hawks, I heard Dance Marathon event is coming up next week. I'm here with Keegan Henderson. So, what do we have planned for next week? We have a spirit week going on next week. It's going to consist of four theme days. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have your type, uh, which is just dressing up as somebody that you are either attracted to or yourself, in all honesty. You can do a dynamic duo, so get a friend and dress up as uh, Patrick or SpongeBob, Tom and Jerry, stuff like that. Uh, Rave Hour, just wear neon colors and stuff like that to school. And on Friday, which is our event, wear DM merch and just wear your uh, any DM merch you have. How can students participate in the event on Friday? So you have to raise $40 by the event and on the event day, which is February 24th, you have to be at $50 on your donor drive. If you would like to set up a donor drive, please talk to anybody in leadership and they will help you set it up. Uh, and you will be going to the cafeteria at the end of the day at three o'clock on Friday. And it's going to be a lock-in event until 10, where we're just dancing, having fun, and raising money for the children of Chance Miracle Hospital. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, I'm Shayla okay. Stowagin. Attention juniors and seniors, this year prom theme is a night in Greece. Tickets go on sale March 25th. All students attending must have a 2.2 GPA or higher, or an off-campus guest that is in high school or under 21. Prom crowd tracks are outside of room 6101. Can't wait to see you all there. The Black Student Union Fashion Show scheduled for today has been canceled. Amidst the world of meats and cheese, we have discovered a one-of-a-kind vegan paradise. WSRH Extra reporter Brooke McGrath takes us to the Green Market in downtown West Palm Beach to check out the succulent. Do you have another taco walking in? West Palm Beach's Clematis Green Market brings a variety of vendors from all walks of life. Many of these vendors use animal products in the items that they sell. In this swarm of meat, cheeses, and seafood, one vendor stands alone. Um, we wanted to open a business that was really um, sustainable and equitable and would just be kind of like um, a good ethical business. And the Succulent is a plant-based street food pop-up that strives to be the best for both the environment and their customers. Uh, whether you're vegan, vegetarian, flexitarian, whatever, you know, we try not to get on our soapbox about that. Uh, just in general, everybody could benefit to eat a little bit more vegetables and a little less meat. So we do our best to support local agriculture and to support other small businesses. While plant-based dining is growing in popularity, the succulent relies on their relationships with the community. But I think what sets our menu apart and our business apart is our connection to local agriculture. With the ingredients provided from locals, everything the vendor produces is made right under the tent. So everything that we make is scratch made, all of our sauces, all of the food, you don't use any like vegan substitutes. Their menu includes unique vegan alternatives, such as mushroom po'boys and jackfruit fidia tacos. I've just always been a foodie at heart. Whether it's vegan or not, uh, I think most importantly, the food just has to be really good. After trying this one of a kind food from the succulent, we can confirm it's succulent. For WSRH Extra, I'm Brooke McGrath. March 1st will be the school-wide SAT day. All of 11th grade and other students for retakes will be taking the SAT. If you wish to be released after testing, you must have a note from your parents. Notes must be turned into student services by the end of the day, Friday, February 24th, in order to get permission. Students will not be called out. Also, remember to wear your favorite college t-shirt or jersey to school that day. First Priority will be having a meeting today in room 9103 from 3 to 4 p.m. Hope to see you there. Congratulations to this week's Hawks of the Week. Ninth grade, Gavin Salino, nominated by Mrs. Franick and Mrs. Morris. Elef Tenth grade, Diego Raimundo Diego, nominated by Mrs. Koslick. Eleventh grade, Angelina Bucato, nominated by Mrs. Wright. Twelfth grade, Adrian Hernandez, nominated by Mrs. Kish. <laughs> Students were nominated based on academic improvement or for their efforts in making our campus better <laughs> by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Coming up on WSRH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. Hey, bro. You want to hear this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, dude, it's safe. Don't you trust me? Well, if you say so. Want to hear this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, bro, don't you trust me? <laughs> well, if you say so.
The chemicals found in jewels and other e-cigarettes contain the same harmful metals like lead that are present in gasoline. Visit www.thetruth.com for more information on the harmful effects Hi, of Hi Persephone, what is a cloud wear under its raincoat? I don't know, Brock, what? Thunderwear. <laughs> Let's go to WSRH meteorologist Anthony Menendez with today's forecast. Hey, good morning, Hawks. For today's weather forecast, we have a high of 85 with a low of 65 with partly cloudy skies. And for the three-day weather forecast, on Saturday, we have a high of 75 with a low of 66 with cloudy skies. And on Sunday, we have a high of 82 with a low of 63 with showers. And on Monday, we have a high of 87 with a low of 61 with partly cloudy skies. For WSRH Weather, I'm Anthony Menendez. We have a happy birthday going out to Emily Wickman, Eden Figler, Deline Garcia, Kyle Sagster, Isaiah Ciprias, Nathaniel Cole, Justin Little, Malachi Maldonado, Lila Morzello, Caleb Rowe, Ryan Walker, Jeremiah Smith, and Daniela Velez. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Hawks! WSR Sports anchor Adrian Murray joins us now at the sports desk. I wonder how our boys lacrosse team first game went. Good morning, Hawks. I've got a lot of sports to fill you in on, so let's get right into it. The varsity baseball team defeated Martin County High School 6-4, going 2-0 in the preseason classic at Palm Beach Gardens High School. The regular season will begin Monday, February 20th against Forest Hill. Last night was a historic night for our boys' varsity lacrosse team, playing their first ever game. WSRH news reporter Dakota Parks has more on how they did. Good morning, Hawks. I'm here with boys lacrosse player Coach Waddington and Gage Single, who played Olympic Heights last night. So, what was the score? Uh, we unfortunately lost 5-7. How did you guys do? We played really well for our first game. The boys were very excited and enthusiastic about the game. What can you guys improve on? We got some basic skills that we have to work on. Uh, other than that, we, it will all come along throughout the season. We'll get better. And what's next for you guys? Um, our next game is going to be next Wednesday at Palm Beach Central away um, at 6 o'clock. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSH News, I'm Carolyn Watson. Now let's take a look at some highlights from the boys' tough game by WSRH news reporter Jasmine and Dino. The girls lacrosse team has their second game of the season and their first home game tonight. WS Race news reporter Savannah Mazzillo has more on tonight's game. I'm here with Kendall and Gabby to talk about the game tonight. So, what time is the game? 6 o'clock. Who are you guys playing? Uh, we play Martin County. Is it home or away? It's home. How do you guys think you're going to do? Um, I think we're going to do really good. We have a really good um, starting lineup and we have some good shooters. Okay. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRT News, I'm Samantha. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, girls lacrosse home at 6 p.m. versus Martin County. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Adrian Murray. Well, that's it for WSRH News. I'm Brock blink -Garsheim. And I'm Persephone Cortez. Remember that you can follow us on social media on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Seminole Ridge TV. Have a great day, Hawks.